Midwestern Cowboy, this is Iron Horse. Thanks for watching. It's kind of a windy day out here in my backyard, but it's a beautiful day. I've got the bike parked here and the, the ground soft, so I put that piece of aluminum under the kickstand. But I'm going to do a job, and I thought I would just go ahead and video while I'm doing it. I've got right here my T-Rex crash bars. T-Rex racing crash bars. And I'm going to do an installation video. And I thought I would just show you how to do it. I've never seen any, any videos out there. So I've got my instructions here. Uh, has some nice detailed information. It looks like it's pretty easy to do. But who needs instructions? And it looks like all the tools that I need are right here. Two Allen wrenches and a 17 millimeter end wrench. Loctite, and then the hardware that came with the uh, with the uh, T-Rex crash bars. So, well, let's get started. <clears throat> so we start by removing this this engine bolt. This nut came off with it, and there's the bolt. You can see where this is going to go, just about right here. Ah, there's a uh, cable in the way here. There we go. I can pull that up. It's just a, that's just a vent line. So. Then we'll put this bolt in here. And you have to do this by feel. There we go. Just going to leave it kind of loose right now. Sitting here kind of loose. Okay, we'll take this bolt out because that's going to need to uh, connect here to the other side. So there we go. It's on, but it's on loose. Now we'll try this side. Again, first thing we do is we take this bolt out, this engine bolt, right here. If you do this carefully, you won't scratch any pain or anything like that. And I got the nut out too. First thing you got to do is get that right there. See that lined up there? This is lined up, the bolt's in, and we'll put this backing plate bracket on. There we go. That's better. Now I can sit and relax while I'm trying to do this. And I could just loosen this one up a bit. just so that there's some play. There she's going. How about that? All right. Okay, so that's threaded in now. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and tighten up the engine mounts. I think things look pretty decent all together. The pucks are adjustable here yet, so So let's see, let's, let's, let's tighten up the engine mount. I don't have to put a lot of torque on these things. Just enough. 
That guy is tight. Now we'll go around and do the other side. This one here is going to be tougher to put a wrench on because it's buried in there a lot deeper. One little bit at a time. Good. Good and confident in this setup. It is solid, it's rigid. That's good. Now we'll give the engine bolts one more last torque. Just to make sure we're good. Same on this side. If I can get down there to it. Ah, oh, yeah, that's good. Wow, good and rigid. Not really a bad job at all. Don't forget your Loctite. I did do that. You put Loctite on so that they'll hold together. Now the next thing you do is you take a look at your pucks. Now these pucks are really nice. I like them. You can see it's got Versa 650 uh, cut into it. And you can get these in different colors. Uh, I chose the black one just since it kind of matches the blacked out part of this motorcycle. Uh, and like I said, there's just a set screw in, in the bottom of it. You just screw it on. Be careful not to cross thread it. It's, it is just plastic. It should go on nice and free, just like this. See that? I'm just sitting here rotating it. Easy does it. Now it kind of starts to get tight. And so what I'm going to do is take it all the way now that it's tight. Okay? And I don't know. You have to figure out how you want it to be oriented. I'm going to go more at an angle like this, just so that that kind of is more parallel with the bar. Then you find your set screw. Then we'll do the other side. Same setup. It's already just about tight right there. We'll just snug up our set screw. And she's snug. That must be a favorite word of mine, snug. Snug is a bug in a rug. <laughs> Pretty easy installation altogether. A little bit, you just had to hold your mouth just right sometimes just to get bolts started and all of that. But you do that really on any job. And So hey, there's only one thing left to do after a uh, tough job only took me about a oh I don't know 20 minutes or so to do this but boy it really made me thirsty yeah oh yeah oh nuts I got to take my helmet off Midwestern cowboy this is iron horse thanks for watching